In today's lesson, we're going to be teaching you guys how to change your project units in Revit 2026. This is going to work for previous versions of Revit as well. That's enough talking from me. Let's get started. If you're new to Revit and you're moving over from AutoCAD or a different program and you just don't know what you're doing, this is probably going to be one of the most difficult things you're going to find out. It's easy to fix. It's easy to get it done. So what you guys want to do is you're going to, once you open a new drawing at least, you're going to want to come to your manage tab and you'll be brought to the new manage ribbon. So you want to click that, go to project unit. So you can see that I have it highlighted here. Click that and we're going to be brought to project unit. So you can see here within project units, there's every kind of discipline that you'll kind of need when you're using Revit and they can all be adjusted you know, to whatever you need to use it for. So some things can be metric if you're using metric for certain things, but not others. Other things can be left as imperial or vice versa. It depends, you know, where you are, what you're working with. Uh, if you just click common, this is just going to be your common, what you're going to be using, I guess, basically on a regular level. Uh, and you can see you can go through and change all of these. So it's not as simple as AutoCAD where you just kind of select, you know, uh, a unit and it sticks. This you have to go and select everything kind of manually. And it, I mean, also Revit's a more, I guess, in-depth program for all these things anyway. So if you come here, you can see we have our area in square feet. You can select all of these here. I'm just gonna click with stair, stick with, sorry, square feet. Come to cost per unit area, cost per square foot, cost per square meter. I'm just gonna do cost per foot. For your distance, you want that to stay as feet or meters most likely or centimeters, uh, depending again on your location. If we come to length, you're going to see we're, we're, we're going to tend to kind of want this in feet and fractional inches so that it's easier to read. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but I highly recommend feet and fractional inches or meters and centimeters uh, if you're in Europe or if you're in, you know, a, uh, an area in Canada where you're using that instead of the U.S. units. So just keep that. That's probably going to be your most important one. Uh, if you come to mass density, that's not really going to matter too much. You know, rotation angles, slopes, everything like that. You can adjust your speed. So, you know, we can do centimeters per minute, feet per minute, feet per second, kilometers, meters, miles per hour, you know, things like that. Um, you can adjust your time and everything like that. And, and that's how that would work for the common tab. But if we go to electrical, you can see we have all these other different things. I'm not going to go through all of them. You can go through and adjust them as you want. You can see here we can we can change how our uh, you know, apparent power is, is, is measured, you know, all these other things. We can go and change all of these to make sure that it works with what we're doing. So you can go through there, just click these and change it to what you need it to be. Uh, you know, go to energy, you can select your energy for what you want that to be. For your HVAC, you can change everything. So from, from liters to, uh, you know, the, the US version, which is gallons, you know, things like that. For infrastructure, this is only stationing, so you don't really need to worry about that. But if you go to your stationing, you can do US survey feet or meters, and that's okay. Piping, you can change your piping and everything. And then with our structural, we can change all of our structurals. So that's kilonewtons and you know things like that. So go through, make sure that you have those sets what you need them to be. Uh, if you're just doing architectural drafting, for the most part, you're kind of going to just stick with common. So keep that in mind. Once you're done, click OK. And then you're going to be able to start drawing. So I'm just going to go, ar go to architecture here, click wall, click architectural wall. I'm going to start, I don't know, maybe on this corner just to make it easy. I click there and you can see here that I've got my angle in degrees. You can see that it's going to be measuring my wall as well. So it's 36 feet at this point. And then if I click it down, it's going to show me exactly what it is. And you can see here, it's also showing me my inches and everything as well. So that's how you set it up so that you know what you're drawing in. Because if you don't know what you're drawing in, that's going to be, be a problem. So guys, hopefully this was a useful tutorial. Take care. You're going to see the drawing I'm actually working on in a new video I'm working on about VR. So that's exciting. That's coming up for our 10,000 subscriber special, guys. Take care. Hopefully this was helpful. Subscribe and join the channel as well. It really helps us. And we'll see you in the next one.